It is a great satisfaction to greet you again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. What to do if your dog's vulva is swollen? If your dog has a swollen vulva, you may be wondering what is wrong with her, especially if she is licking her vulva or there is discharge. Here's what could be causing your dog's vaginal inflammation and what you can do about it. Why is your dog's vulva swollen? First things first, you can actually see your dog's vagina from the outside, the part that you can see is called the vulva. Inside the vulva is the urethral orifice, where urine comes out, and the vaginal vestibule, which connects the vulva to the vagina. The vagina is internal and leads to the cervix and uterus. So if you notice swelling in your dog's vaginal area, what you're actually seeing is swelling of the vulva. This could mean that there is also inflammation of the vagina, which is called vaginitis. A bitch can have a swollen vulva for various reasons. Some are normal, but others require veterinary intervention. 1. It is normal for an unspay bitch's vulva to swell during certain points in her estrus cycle or heat. The estrus cycle has four stages, proestrus, estrus, diestrus, and anestrus. The vulva will begin to swell during proestrus and will remain enlarged to varying degrees during heat and diurus. The heat cycle occurs approximately every six months and the vulva can remain swollen for about two months. 2. Pregnancy and work. A pregnant dog's vulva usually swells a week to a few days before she is ready to give birth. The dog will normally like the area, which can stimulate labor. This is considered a normal part of canine pregnancy and birth. 3. Injury. Most vulvar injuries occur after forced separation during mating. Dogs get stuck together during the final stage of mating due to swelling at the base of the male dog's penis. If bitches are forcibly separated, the enlarged part of the penis can traumatize the walls of the vagina and vulva, causing swelling and bleeding. Because of this, it is important not to try to separate the dogs during mating, even if it happened by mistake. But other types of trauma can also cause an injury to the vulva, such as getting involved in a dog fight or being hit by a car. 4. Infection. Swelling of the vulva may be a sign of an infection in the urinary tract or reproductive system. Urinary tract infections are relatively common in dogs and cause irritation to the urethra and vulva, causing dogs to lick and rub the area. Female dogs are especially prone to UTIs because they have short urethras, making it easy for bacteria to travel up the urethra to the bladder. Vaginal infections, usually caused by microorganisms such as fungi or bacteria, can also cause swelling of the vulva and vaginal discharge. 5. Allergic reaction or irritation. Shampoos, conditioners, and other topical products are not designed to be used in the genital area and may cause irritation or even an allergic reaction. Take care when bathing your dog and using topical products to ensure they do not get near your dog's vulva. Only use topical products near the genitals if directed by your vet. 6. Puppy vaginitis. The term vaginitis refers to inflammation of the vagina, but it is also used to describe a specific health condition. Vaginitis is a benign condition sometimes seen in young puppies, usually between 6 and 8 weeks of age. These pups often show no signs, but some may lick the area and experience vaginal discharge. What to do if your dog's vagina is swollen? If your bitch is spayed, her vulva should not be swollen, so it's important to contact your vet if she continues for more than a day. If you notice that the skin of the vulva is raw, cracked, scabbed, or bleeding, you should contact your vet immediately, whether your dog is spayed or not. If your dog is not spayed, the first consideration should be her heat cycle. Is this her first heat? Most dogs have their first heat cycle between 6 and 8 months of age. If this is not her first heat, when was she last in heat? Contact your vet if the timing seems wrong or if your dog is not feeling well. It's important not to use over-the-counter topical products on your dog's vulva without first consulting your vet. Topicals can encourage your dog to link the area and make her more irritated. Worse yet, some topical medications are toxic if ingested by dogs. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hunt, and until the next video, 